really new to gamers, and we're here because Elisa got in the mail just Japan today. Great. Japan great. So this is for the month of May. Yay! So last month you said was cherry blossom theme. Yes. All right. So we gotta see what this one's gonna be. Don't remember scissors. Oh. All the things. All the stuff. Jesus. Let's let's turn this around so we can get a look at this for the camera. Oh, These are balls. some of the yummy things that we have in this crate. Can't wait. The May crate is the Segoy crate. So, oh, there's so much cute stuff in here. Oh my god. All right. So you said this was the premium crate, right? Yep. Okay. They're all premium. All premium. Okay. So. So it's gonna have everything on that page. Yes. Beautiful. All right. So what do you want to try first? Uh, I guess this. It's right here. What is this? Okay. That appears to be a apple soda gummy. Okay. You can't go wrong with apple and you can't go wrong with soda. So an apple soda gummy should be... We're having technical difficulties because gummies is gummy. Apparently it's a stiff gummy. It is a stiff gummy. <laughs> it's exciting because we're going to eat it. Alright, ready? Uh-huh. Mm. Mm. Oh! That was good. Green apple. Mm-hmm. Soda gummy. Mm. Delicious. Really good. Really juicy. Very and thick. Very, oh, you're very thick. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see. Since we're doing candy first, yes. We're gonna go with this cute little burger. Burger. Which I'm assuming is just a burger gummy. Yeah, it's a hamburger gummy. It is covered with sugar. Looks like it's gonna be kind of sweet. Let's see. Aww. Maybe it has little little patties. Mm hmm. So let's see. You wanna? It's so cute. Oh, oh, that did it for us. Okay. So, uh. Yeah. Here? Yeah. Okay. I'll take the bottom half. Okay. Not as tart mm. as I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, it kinda tastes like ours, but just more sugar mm. on this one. Not bad. I'm getting like peach. Probably the buns. Mm. Peach buns. Yes. Okay. 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 Um, Try again. Oh, this one. It's Dragon Ball Super. I think it's a wafer. Let me see. Aha. Dragon Ball chocolate. Protecting us a gummy wafer sandwich with chocolate cream lies within. But apparently each pack comes with a sticker. Ooh, Ooh please be Vegeta. <laughs> Vegeta is the sexiest of all Saiyans. I'm sure everybody will agree. If you don't, we can't be friends. Oh, oh. it's Kakarot. Ugh. It's and garbage. This is, and this is specifically <laughs> the Kakarot from the Broly movie. Okay, these are very thick. The chocolate looks like it's a little hard. I thought it was gonna be gooey. Mm -hmm. The wafer kind of had like um. A toasted taste to it. It does. It's almost like the sugar wafer we have here. Except with an actual chocolate. No, it's a chocolate cream. Mm -hmm. I'm a fan of this. It definitely does not taste as artificial. Mm -mm. Like, this actually tastes like one of those wafer cones. Yeah. I love the flavors of all the things we get in these boxes for the most part. Mm -hmm. That was good. Ew. I see something on here I'm not going to want to eat. Mm -hmm. For the sake of you guys, I will try it. Alright. Okay. We're gonna try this thing. Right here. This is baked matcha. These matcha chocolates are perfect while you're busy studying or at work. The outer shell is toasted so it won't leave your fingers sticky. Oh, there we go. And Ooh. it has a smooth matcha filling. It has a smooth matcha scent. Love how Hello Kitty has a tan. Aww. Oh, yeah, look, he does have a tan. Cute, cute. Little These are green, really cute. Nubbly things. Mmm. That. Mmm. The, the texture was not like I thought. Very nice. It is, because some of the pieces, like the broken ones, I thought it was going to be more wafer and crispy. Mm. But it's not. It's like. Melt. It yeah, it's like slightly hardened, but it's really good. What's next? Um, what's this? Ooh. Somewhere on here. Here we go. Chocolate. Umabu? 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 Let's 
see, apparently it's a fan favorite. It is returning in a surprising new form and it has bite-sized wafer puffs that ooze delicious chocolate cream. Oh, they're like cream puffs, but like not cold. Yeah, they're very aerated. Cool. This is nice. Mm -hmm. These would be amazing if they had Nutella in the middle. Mm. Anybody else out there just kind of eat Nutella with a spoon? Please say you do. I don't want to be the only one. I want to Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's try. Mm -hmm. What's this one? Um, this one appears to be fettuccine white peach gummy. Yeah. These look like little oh, wow, yeah. noodles. Like the ones you get in like the, the instant pasta packs. Like the fettuccine yeah. packs. Udon noodles, kind of? Mm. Oh. That's hard. Yeah. Mm. Oh, but good. Mm. Very good. Very tart. I like it. Mm. Interesting. I approve. So far, I haven't had a single bad thing. What is that? The ice stick. Lipstick? Japanese or ice is the term for ice cream and popsicles. This colorful ice lollipop has sweet assorted fruit flavor. Perfect on a sunny day. Oh. Um. Um. It's the size of a tampon. Yeah. Wow. I guess. Let me know how that one is. <laughs> no. I don't know. It's not bad. <laughs> it feels weird just sticking this in yeah. my mouth. I can't really, like, tell what the flavor is. I get orange initially, but yeah. then, like, nothing. Not really a fan of this one. Yeah. Okay, let's go with... I don't know. Oh, it's oh. another DIY? But it looks like it s'mores! Traditional Japanese dessert. Sweeten up your mochi by dipping it into different toppings of chocolate and... Knacko, which is roasted soybean powder. Uh, so it looks like all we need for this is water, which we have. See, we are prepared. We're adults. Because it looks like you only have to moisten the mochi. Mm. Mm. That sounds dirty. Oh. Moisten my mochi. So here is the graham cracker pouch. Here is the gooey chocolate pouch. Don't know what this is supposed to be, I guess, to eat the mochi with? Probably. Yeah. And these are the mochis that we need to wet. Well, they're definitely squishy. They're squishy. All right, I'm gonna give this a go. Dip you in here. Scoop up a little bit of that. Okay. Um. I am not a fan. There's mochi stuck in my tooth. All our mochis have become one. And I'm looking. It's become a mochi. Yeah. Mm -mm. It's like the water from the mochi kind of makes it taste watery instead of yeah. mochi y. It's probably too much water. Yeah, so that's uh, garbage. Yeah, no, that, that's not. For us, definitely not a fan. You may like it. Yeah. If you do, good for you. That roasted soybean powder, though, is not bad. It's not I terrible. I enjoyed that. Sorry, I didn't throw that at you. Um, wish the chocolate was actually, like, you know, a chocolate. Yeah, it wasn't really <laughs> sweet. It was very kind of tasty. All right. What next? Um, whatever this is. That is Koita Purple Potato. Sweet, limited purple sweet potato chocolates are rich, crispy bites of purple goodness. Purple chocolate. It tastes like purple. Uh, like my friend's granddaughter told me to drink something. She says it's pink. So I asked her, what does it taste like? Strawberry? She's like, no, it tastes like pink. I'm like, okay. Those are like little um, weird crispies. Okay. They look like Rice Krispie treats. An interesting flavor. Tastes like a sweet potato. Hmm. Ah. Kind of getting coconut undertones. I like these. I yeah, like these a bad. lot. 
It tastes like a like a like a warm sweet potato, but a little crunchy. Yeah, it's good. Nice. Yay! Alright, next thing. These, at least, are very excited for. I am for. very excited about. I feel like a special thing for this box. They're by Frito, which means the bag is mostly air. Yes, this one was a <laughs> pizza la, which is one of Japan's largest pizza chains. And it's an exclusive. Oh. Let's see. It's an exclusive partnership with Lay's. See, I'm spoiled when it comes to pizza. I lived in New York for a while. So let's see how these stand out. Oh, they look, they look like little, they do look like Doritos. Oh, they're, they're actually more rounded, so they kind of look like little slices of pizza. <laughs> this one's folded. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's give these a try. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm, these are good. Oh, wow. Uh-huh. Would you like to try one, Rob? Those are very good. I will eat those later. Yes. Very tasty. They will be devoured. Yes. All right. Your pick. So this one was also one that I was excited for. Oh, those are strong garlic butter. Apparently it says, can you handle these chips? They're designed to pack an extra strong punch of garlic and butter. Ruffles and waves provide an extra crisp texture for the full, strong experience. Well, this is less than half a bag of chips. Oh, damn. Quite, quite empty. <laughs> but yeah, you could smell the... Oh, wow. Woo. Wow. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that's wow. garlic. Good thing I love garlic. They're actually really good. They are really good. Wow. So far, the two chips are coming in as my standout favorites. Mm -hmm. Like, it's funny because they kind of at first taste a little sweet, but then when you actually start chewing, you get that garlic. garlic. I like it. All right. Next up, I don't want to try these. I think these are going to be disgusting. <sighs> these are the what ones I'm dreading. These are jalapeno and onion Pringles. Yeah. I don't like spicy food. My palate is rather bland. Um, I am not gonna like these, mm. but I have a glass of water, yeah. so hopefully it won't be so bad. So uh, apparently Pringles are super famous in Japan and they're always inventing new flavors. Ah. So this is one of their inventions. Yay. Watch, these are gonna be amazing. <laughs> right? Do they smell good? They don't smell of anything. Oh. Which has me concerned, but like most Pringles, they're mostly broken. You get a whiff. Yeah, they don't really yeah, smell yeah. of anything. Is there actually also like really, really tiny. tiny compared to our Pringles? Like, look, they're like baby Pringles. Alright. That's the jalapeno. Mm hmm But it's not bad, okay. actually. No. And I don't like jalapeno. Like, I yeah. hate jalapeno. It's like you get the taste of the jalapeno without the heat of the jalapeno. Yeah. But Those are actually surprisingly good. really good. They're surprisingly good. <laughs> would you like another one? Yes, I would. <laughs> and, like, I like spicy stuff. I just don't like the flavor of jalapeno. But this one's not, like, an overly powering flavor of jalapeno. Which, the, again, like a lot of the stuff. After the second chip, your tongue gets a little warm. But it's not really spicy. Yeah, so okay. good. Okay. Pleasantly surprised. Next up on I want the last thing in my mouth to be this. That's what she said. <laughs> All right, so this is. Oh, it says shake seven times. Specifically. specifically seven. So, so this is one, Jalit's two, coffee three, jelly drink. Four. It says, do you like coffee? Do you like jelly? Why not mix the two together? Thank you, Japan. So apparently there's layers of jelly, there's bitter coffee jelly, and creamy jelly, which is why you have to shake it. This is going to taste funky, probably going to look funky. It was some it's, carbonation because smoke came out of it. And it sounded funky as she was shaking it up. 
Oh god. I'm gonna see lumps fall out of it. Yeah. Oh! God, that looks so gross! <laughs> it really does. Ugh. The things we do for you, our fans. Oh god. <laughs> Got a big lava. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Thanks, Elisa. Why did it make it do it? <laughs> did you sneeze in the glass for me? <laughs> Ugh. I'm not even gonna say what this looks like. Alright. Yeah. I thought the jalapenos were gonna be bad. Uh, Alright. in there to make that coffee palatable. Make it coffee. And it's lumpy. And it's so gross. <laughs> I'm gonna get a toothbrush on my tongue. Go cry and eat my chips. <laughs> Ugh. This is why I don't let you pick things out. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna try and erase that horror show. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna go with this, which looks like it's some sort of... I'm pretty sure this is the pudding. The pudding. I'm excited for these. This is the Koala Marked Cream Pudding. If you care to read that, and yes. I will... Cute. These cute biscuits have a crunchy cookie outside and a custard pudding inside, all wrapped in our favorite koala design for a cute, crispy, and creamy treat. And it's by that company lot. They're the ones that made the pickle that I liked. <laughs> which I haven't been able to find. Ready, like, you know, we didn't see it in the last time we went to We did more. not. But I always liked Koala March. Aww! Yeah, the Koala Marches are so cute! Aww! Little phone. Okay, let's see what this is. Mm. I was excited for these. These are good. Mm -hmm. I've been singing. Those are really good. It's like animal. Oh, mine has a little present. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will devour you. You're one. Alright. Last but not least, and this is also the bonus item for the premium crate. Yeah. Oh, we can't forget we also have the gum to try. Ooh, yes. Let me move these up here so I don't forget them. But if you're doing let's go, let's get his little thing in there. Oh, his arm broke off. I think I would have preferred Pikachu. His arm isn't going in the hole. Oh, we could have gotten a low on Bullpex oh. or Marowak. What is? Oh. It's a stand. There we go. Well, hopefully if any of you try this got one, it was a better Pokemon than ours. <laughs> I mean, nothing against Rotom. He's just, cool and all, yeah, but... Just not what I wanted. Yeah, no. <laughs> all right, so let's try the chocolate. Break me up a piece of Kit Kat bar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, the Kit Kats. Oh, the matcha. I still have some. Hmm. It's nice. It's really smooth. The white chocolate's not super sweet because I really don't like super sweet white chocolate, but. Definitely the two of them together makes a very good combination. It does. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. This one, I do not see. Transformation glass card gum. gum. It's soda flavored. Oh. Was it one of the last gums we had soda flavored? I think so. It's a unique eye transformation mask. It's a hold up to your face. Um, what about eating it? <laughs> I am confused. That's the one. Or is this the gum? Oh. Okay, that makes more sense. I was totally just about to bite this. <laughs> Damn it, I shouldn't have found this. <laughs> I was handling it carefully because I thought it was food. Is this, is this working? <laughs> is this a... All right, well, strange. That makes more sense. <laughs> I was like, that's some shiny gum. <laughs> Very powdery. Smells good. 
actually really tasty. Initially, it reminds me of like the carefree gum. Mmm. With how powdery it is. Mm, yeah. Don't know what soda it's supposed to taste like though. I think just. You know what? It might be the, the Ramoon soda. <laughs> I should do the rest of the video with this <laughs> on my face. Looks like there's little things that you could put like string in. Oh, that anime series full of cuteness and magic. Oh. This is a piece of juicy strawberry gum. Oh my god, is this gonna turn me into a magical girl? <laughs> I wanna change its form. And I just swallowed the other piece of gum. <laughs> oh, this one smells really sweet. Mm. A little harder to chew. Not as strong of a flavor. Mm -mm. Transportation land chocolate. Or little chocolate marbles. Interesting. Yeah. Take your pills. <laughs> right? They look like M&M's. To be quite honest with you. So this Japan loves transportation. These marble chocolates. Each chocolate pack has a transportation theme. It's an M&M. Yeah. Tastes just like an M&M. Yeah. Except the M&M's are bigger. Yep. Okay. Well, that's everything. So that's everything. So our favorites are... Definitely the pizza chips. Mm -hmm. And I personally like the garlic chips. And the baked matcha was good. I really liked the pizza chips, definitely. And uh, the koala march was mm -hmm. very good. Yeah. Least, very favorite, least favorite is definitely the yes. coffee. Yeah, this is going straight. Definitely the coffee. Into no, the we're trash. definitely not doing that. And I also was not really a fan of the, the DIY. It? The DIY was not good. All right, well, that's it, everybody. So tune in next time. Um, hopefully we'll have some more H Mart videos. And mm -hmm. next month we will have our next Japan crate, which is what did you say? It's like a fruits basket. basket. So excited. Alright everybody, so we will see you later. Um, bye!